What is up, everybody? Greg Treziak here with Pragmatic Works, bringing you episode one in our series, Let It Snow. We are getting all into the amazing tool, Snowflake. Throughout this series, we're going to dive into some of the major concepts that you will see on the Pragmatic Works on-demand learning and as you start to explore the Snowflake sample data. Let's start at the reason tools like Snowflake exist. We got to go back in time. All right, we're going to the dinosaur age. Okay, not that kind, but the dinosaur server age. All right, you might remember a time where we had a on-premises server pretty much in every major organization. There was always a need to update. You had to get more. You couldn't run things fast enough. And it was very hard to scale and predict where your organization would be and its computing needs when you had to wait for all these shipments and upgrades and everything. It was just a absolute mess. So what we find is one of the major challenges is this traditional server that we're looking at has high maintenance costs. We can't scale it up the right way. It's hard to predict what we're going to need. And we have some vulnerabilities as far as query performance for these. So what started to happen through Oracle and other tools, including Snowflake, was this transition into a more cloud-based infrastructure. What we see is Snowflake is a cloud-native data platform. It's very effective because it handles all aspects that we're going to need to go over for data warehousing. It also is a fully managed software as a service. Service. It has a great user interface, but at the same time, the ability to use SQL or Python or even Snowpark to write out and manipulate the data in the way that you need. Another great thing is it's built on Amazon Web Services, the Google Cloud Platform, and Microsoft Azure. One really strong benefit is that there is a pay-as-you-go, which means we are separating our storage costs and our compute costs. This is a absolute game changer. If you maybe don't have a lot to store, but you're heavy on compute, you can adjust for that. Or maybe you just do a couple small computes and you use a lot of storage, right? We can figure that out. It's kind of this middle ground where we can access a lot of the actual server infrastructure with Azure, with GCP, with AWS. And we can manipulate it with Snowflake at something that is pretty cost effective. So Snowflake is a cloud-based native ability to data warehouse and manage our data with compute and storage. What makes Snowflake different? Well, I would argue it's the unique architecture that it has. We have that separation of storage and compute, which means most likely reduced cost from probably whatever else you were storing your data and using compute. You also have the ability to do multi-clustering with your warehouses and the ability to scale up your warehouses and utilize them for certain tasks and you're paid just by compute. So if you know you need a task done ASAP, super fast, lots of data, well, maybe we're going to upgrade you to a large or an extra large warehouse and you're going to run that query across that warehouse. You will be able to multi-cluster if you need to and get that thing done. The other thing is if you go with a smaller warehouse, less compute charges might take a little bit, but it's still pretty speedy and efficient. You also have the ability to time travel if you've got some disaster recovery. You have zero copy cloning and you have some great security aspects with role-based security. You'll notice throughout our on-demand learning, we really dive into how to manage role-based access controls through account admin to creating your very own custom roles. You name it, you can do it in Snowflake. So I think security as well as cost management is initially something that would drive somebody to say, well, maybe Snowflake is the answer for what I'm doing. We also have to consider what can we really do with Snowflake? There is a lot that we 
can do with Snowflake. Whether it's education data, health data, business data, shipping, logistics, you can handle all of your relevant business intelligence questions. You're also going to have the opportunity to get into some machine learning, share out that data, collaborate in a safe and secure way, and even transform the data, build pipelines, data engineering. You've got data science, you've got data analysis, you've got it all here packaged in a really nice ecosystem. So for me, I think the architecture and the use cases fit the majority of what a lot of organizations are doing, and it doesn't usually cost too much because you pay as you go. What else about the Snowflake ecosystem is really nice? What is also nice here is we have the ability to connect to our favorite tools. We can visualize our queries in the built-in Snowsight UI, but we also can connect to my favorite Power BI. You've got Tableau, Looker, you name it. And like I mentioned a little bit ago, whatever language you feel most comfortable in, you can leverage that here. So if you're used to manipulating and working with data in Python, Fun, by all means, continue with that. If you will prefer a SQL worksheet and you want to run off of that, you can. The other thing I like about this is Snowflake has a ton of great documentation on how to build out these queries. They've got sample queries, you name it. You couple that with hanging out with me on the on-demand learning, you're going to be a Snowflake pro in no time. I think the ecosystem suits well also for modern things that we want to do. We want to visualize effectively. We'll go to Power BI for that. We want to use Python, SQL, no problem here. What else? Why is Snowflake really continuing to grow? Well, I've mentioned a lot of the reasons why somebody would move into the cloud. Not only that, but choose Snowflake over other potential tools. Globally, this is great too, because if you want to leverage some of your cloud warehousing and use the infrastructure of GCP, Virginia, you've got that. If you want to go to Seoul, South Korea and look at some AWS and utilize that because it's your closest location, you're going to be able to work globally and you have 10,000 plus users really supporting you there. I would argue it's probably even more that are trying out free trials and really investing into this. You have 500 plus companies leveraging Snowflake in their day-to-day -day warehousing in the cloud. It's fast growing, there's more changes, more updates as time goes on, and you see a bit of a competition as far as this new kind of AI age here, where a lot of these companies are building out new physical locations that Snowflake can leverage. So you're finding, in a lot of ways, costs coming down for those compute purchases. Great thing too is there is a full marketplace that is available for live data sharing. Just the other day I was looking at a free weather data set and I was like, wow, you know what? I wonder if I could reference this date of the weather event to the date of the sales and maybe I could figure out does rain affect the sales. That was a nice and quick rundown getting you introduced to what is Snowflake, why everybody is talking about it. I want you to join all of the people that have already created a free trial using Snowflake. In one of the next videos, I'm going to show you how to create your very own free trial, a proper setup, and how to leverage the free Snowflake sample data. It is there and ready for you to have fun with querying, exploring, and visualizing. The other thing I want you to look at is we need to try to query in Snowflake. I want to try that out and you'll see that again in another video. But hey, if you're already having fun, you want to really dive in to Snowflake, whether it's your own curiosity or it's because your organization is ready to dive in. Make sure you join me on the Pragmatic Works On Demand Learning. We just added four brand new awesome courses covering a wide range of topics in Snowflake. Whether it's getting started, administration, essentials, that is a big, big one here. If you're not already a member of our on-demand learning, you can use Greg40 in your checkout and get you an awesome deal to come join me in Snowflake. That's it for today's video. I hope you got a lot of insight into why people are using Snowflake, what it is, and more. Stay frosty, my friends and I'll see you in the next one.